Hey everyone, I'm back to make a new batch of soap. I'm going to be using coconut lime verbena fragrance oil by Indigo Fragrance, but I'm also going to mix it with strawberry sensation. I want to um, make a fruity cocktail smelling soap so I can call it Mama's Night Off. I have my colors all mixed together. I'm going to use this hot pink. Um, some uh, a black oxide and this really cool deep looking purple see if I can get it in there so I'm going to call this mama's night out and I'm using a new fragrance oil by indigo fragrance the coconut lime verbena I have my lye separated ready to mix together I already have my oils on the stove they're getting ready to be heated up I'm going to go ahead and step outside and mix the lye because as always you need to use lye safety precautions, goggles, gloves, mask, and a well ventilated area. When that's all said and done I'll come back and show you what's next. Alright I'm back. As you can see my oils and butters are melting down. The base of most of my soaps is a blend of olive oil, coconut oil, castor oil, palm kernel oil and in this batch I put um, a little bit of organic shea butter for that extra moisturizing effect. I have my lye water cooling off. Um, usually I try to get my oils up to 100 and my lye down to 100 but tonight um, I want my batch to go through gel phase because these are such fun colors and when a soap goes through gel phase sometimes the colors are a little more vibrant. So I am going to have my oils heated up um, and my lye cool down to so approximately 120-125. I'm going to go ahead and continue with this process and then we'll be back. All right, I got my butters all melted down and my oils heated up. My lye and my oils are approximately 140, 145 degrees. So I want to get them down to about 120 because, again, I want it to go through the gel phase um, this time so that way I can see if it's true that the colors are more vibrant. Um, we're going to go ahead and continue to let this cool for about uh, 15 minutes and then I'll bring you back. We'll bring it up to trace and we'll add the colorants. I'm going to try to do a uh, spoon swirl tonight. And again, I'm using Coconut Lime by Indigo Fragrance. I'm mixing that with Strawberry Sensation to make it smell like a, a sweet, fruity cocktail using these funky colors because I want to call this soap Mama's Night Off. Being a mother myself, sometimes us ladies just need a night off. All right, so I got my oils to about 125 and my lye to about 120, so they were five degrees apart. I went ahead and brought it to Trace and now I separated it into three different bowls because I'm doing three different colors. I'm gonna go ahead and mix the colors and I'll be back to show you what that looks like. All right, I mixed my three colors and I added, sorry about my finger there, I added the full ounce of coconut lime verbena and I had about a half ounce left of the strawberry sensations and I mixed each in the three bowls and it smells like a fruity cocktail that I want to go enjoy right now. So I'm going to go ahead and get this set up in the mold and then I'll show you what that looks like. Alright, so here's everything set up in the mold. It smells so good. The two scents mixed together held the color really well. It did not set up my soap. Again, I used the full ounce of coconut lime by Indigo Fragrance. And I had a half ounce of strawberry sensation. And I am really happy with this, how this looks and how it turned out. I went ahead and put a little bit of iridescent glitter on top. And it definitely looks like something I would use for my night off. So I'm going to go ahead and set this aside for 24 hours. And then we'll cut it and I'll show you what that looks like. It's been 24 hours, so I'm going to get ready to unmold the soap. I think it looks really good and it smells really, really good too. So I'm excited to see what it looks like when it's cut. 
So I'm going to go ahead and get this unmolded and then I'll show you that. All right, I went ahead and unmolded it. It looks really, really, really cool. I wish the camera would bring out the colors better, but the scent smells delicious. It didn't morph or change my colors. It didn't set up my soap. So I'm going to go ahead and put in the first cut and then I'll show you that. All right, so here are the cut bars. I am so pleased. And the colors are a little bit more vibrant than they normally are. So I'm really excited about putting this soap through the gel phase. It was really my first time trying to do that. Again, I used one full ounce of Coconut Lime Verbena by Indigo Fragrance. Mix that with a little bit of Strawberry Sensation, a half ounce of that, to come up with this fruity concoction called Mama's Night Off. I just love the colors. Um, what I see is a peach, a pink, and um, a grayish, smoky, black type color. And then I put glitter on top so it can mimic a really nice dress when us ladies need to go out. So this is just going to cure for a couple of weeks and then it'll be ready and up in my shop. Thanks for watching.